In today's tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to get your first web design client. So make sure you stay tuned to learn more about it. Like always guys, I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description, so make sure you check those out at the end of the video. If you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share this, and guys, let's get straight into it. Number one. First step is we need to get you guys a portfolio. You need at least five to 10 items, you know? So this is the big thing right here. It doesn't have to be a whole thing where you have to create five to 10 page sites designs. You need at least one to, you need, you need one to three or four pages designed for each one of these things in a PSD form or as in a website and link to those sites. So a couple ways you can go about by getting these right here. You can start off, make some different websites for yourself. some one page websites or you can go through as well and you can once you know if you can't get clients doing the other way reach out to people right now on LinkedIn you know people like myself or other people on YouTube as well and then you go through and you can get them to you get them to give you a referral for actually going through and building them out a site and a web design so this is something you guys can really use to really be able to push yourself forward the real this is the little building blocks because if you can get 5 to 10 really good looking web designs you can be able to get a lot of people to go through and actually hire you more. Because the basis of the proposal starts off, people go through and click those links. And if they like the way those look, then they're gonna be more likely to hire you. If they click those links and then they look at your price and then they look at who you are. So if you click those links, you can be way far ahead of everyone else who are making um, stuff that's not up to par. And the good thing about this right here too as well, a lot of times when working with clients, you don't, sometimes you might not be making the stuff that you might think is the best because you're making stuff that your clients like. So this also gives you the chance to make five things that you like, that you think are really high top notch and best so you can get the clients that you want. And the people that like the, the, the style that you like, then will go ahead and want to hire you. And the people who don't won't hire you. So you can really segment your actual clients and be able to gain more clients doing this right here. So also too as well, so biggest thing is gonna be, one, is gonna be get your five samples, you do them yourself, and you go to step two. If you don't get any work after step two, come back to step one, find five people on LinkedIn or five people anywhere that have businesses get offer them to build them or, or, or design them a new website for free and then for you can get the five referrals and then when you go into step two you go back to step two you have 10 design well designed items and five referrals so you guys can be able to use step two and bid as much as possible let's get straight into that section step two you're going to want to go ahead and get up and go ahead and sign up for a couple platforms and start bidding as much as possible. The more you bid, the more jobs you can get. And since you have either five portfolio items or 10 portfolio items and five referrals, then you have what you need to actually get out and start building things. So a couple things you're going to go through, you're going to sign up for 99design, Upwork, Freelancer.com, up, and you're going to, it's um, Guru.com, People Per Hour, or go to Indeed, or also, actually, also go to Indeed Monster or go to Craigslist and search for people looking for freelance web designers. Or it's just a lot of different things you can do. I'm gonna leave out the links down below as well because there's tons of different places that you possibly can go to actually get a lot of bids. So once you go ahead and set up your profile on Upwork or People Per Hour or Freelancer or Guru, the first thing you wanna do is fill out your portfolio completely. Then after that, get a professional headshot Put it there so that represents you. And most people try to go with the logos and designers. Go with yourself. People, it's easier to sell you than it's to sell a company. So become the face of the company. And you know, if you're doing more of a freelance type company, there's nothing wrong with that. Just be the face of the company. And then from there, and then you can hit your other sites. As indeed, there's tons of people on there putting freelance jobs up there that they need work done uh, from contract basis to ongoing work to stuff that might be 20 hours a week to 40 hours a week that you can get more work. You just on Indeed and the Monster as well. It's a lot of reason why I find a lot of my clients at as well. Um, a couple different places after that, after you do those two right there, you go to Craigslist. Craigslist always has a lot of different people on there, especially when you go to other markets. A lot of these places right here allow you to work remote, so you're able to basically do this from anywhere. Um, but the biggest thing for coming from step two is really at step one is to bid as much as possible. Keep bidding and keep bidding, and then eventually you'll be able to find and get your first client. It just takes a little time. Could take you a week, could take you a month, could take you a day, depending on how much you bid. Step three, you gotta start branding yourself. 
if you're not branding yourself and putting out what you were able and capable of doing and putting that extra work to help build your portfolio. This really should help you out right here because then, you know, it goes back to step one right here. You really go back through and you keep building your portfolio. You go through and you put out one thing that you build once a week, every single week until basically until you stop working. And this is how you build a huge portfolio and what everyone wants to work with, especially if you do it over the same exact thing, such as web design, which you're gonna put do the same web design, you know, not same web design, but the same, you know, same thing web design and be on the aspect and build different pages over and over so people can see. And this helps you build an audience and helps you people find you and helps you get more clients. This is gonna help you in the long run because then, you know, eventually you'll be bidding, you know, you might run out, you might get to the point where you can't bid anymore because you just run out of time. This right here will help you start attracting clients by word of mouth and by referrals and by just getting more basically anticipation and people to come to you and work with you and want to work with you because they know more about you. Um, biggest things I would say you want to go through and do sign up for Dribble, sign up for Behance, sign up for Instagram, and then get yourself a YouTube account. It doesn't matter if not many people are watching right now. Basically, you want to make three types of videos every single week. You want to make a video going over you know, what you created that week, another video over which is tutorial based of how you created it, and then basically another video is going to be over just something that you have learned as a as a as an actual you know freelancer and actually a web designer something like that you can do two videos just do a tutorial and then show behind the scenes if you can just at least do those two you'd be good if you can do more and actually go through and store in-depth experiences then that even better but basically keep putting content out so you guys can go through and build out your portfolio even more which if you guys don't want to build a web page for that you can always use instagram it makes it a lot more shareable and a lot of people can follow you and you can build up the mystique and appraisal and get more people to actually start paying you not, not even more but a lot more as well so make sure you guys check that out a lot of things people don't really do this as much um, so you really need to do this part right here if you do it consistently every single week then this is how you really build out your actual um, business and be able to get to the point where you can make as much money as you want step four always stay training if you are not training anymore or not learning anymore, we're not getting to the point right now where you are constantly trying to improve what you are doing, then you're doing something wrong. You're gonna be stagnant. You might be at the top now, but eventually, you know, you're at the point where people are gonna surpass you. New technology gonna come out, new techniques, new design patterns. You gotta keep training and keep learning so you can keep up with technology and keep up with the workforce and stay ahead of the pack so you so you never get faded out. So that's one big thing. Start start training. Find some different places, some YouTube and tutorials that you go through and you try out a couple of times a week or one time a week. You know, find a course you might get to run through that you can do over a period of a month that you can do a little bit each week. But always keep learning. As I, as I say, you guys know, always stay bidding, always keep learning. So that's two things, the biggest thing you need to really worry about. And guys, if you haven't already, go to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you on the channel. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and share this video right now as well. Comment down below, letting me know, guys, if these tips are helpful for you. You know, if you if you think this is gonna help you, go ahead and, and go ahead and actually build out your actual portfolio and actually get more clients as a web designer. Let me know if you got your first client already and how you got it. I would love to hear a couple of people in the comments, guys. Thank you so much. I'm Xavier Kelly, and I'll see you in the next one.